to learn to help them with help them with our our inner world, our parts. Spend a few moments to just scan the body and see if you notice any sensations, feelings, emotions, any energy, thoughts, voices, visions, memories, anything at all. Spend a few moments just taking your attention to what is arising, what's calling your attention in this moment. Create these connections. Tend to yourself in this moment. So notice and acknowledge anything that comes up. Let it know I can see you there or I can feel you there. Maybe even say thank you to those parts that are showing up. Maybe you need to place your hands somewhere on your body or send some breaths or give yourself some reassurance. Give those parts some reassurance in this moment. Whatever you feel that you need, just give it to yourself. And if you notice any judgments or any distractions coming in to take your attention away, just acknowledge that too and ask it to step to the side, bringing your attention back to those feelings, those sensations, those thoughts that are arising. Be with the parts, be with the body, be with the breath. Learn to create this dialogue and connection with all those parts inside. And maybe you can invite them to notice you Maybe they have something to share with you about how they're doing or how they're feeling. Maybe there's something they want you to know or remember. So just notice that and acknowledge that too. When that feels sufficient for now, just say thank you, give gratitude to all those parts of stepping forward. And bring your palms together, your heart center. As we prepare by rubbing the palms, keeping the gaze inwards, we're igniting the charge, the divine masculine, divine feminine aspects. And in a moment, we will chant three ohms to clear our energy and join the unified field of consciousness. Stabilizing the palms, thumbs into the sternum. Take a deep breath in to begin. Oh.
keep your eyes closed for as much of this practice as you can. And bring your palms down to your knees. And just take a few natural breaths. And with each breath that you inhale, see if you can just bring that breath a little bit deeper and deeper into the body. Inhaling that breath right down into the system, right down the spine, towards the base of the spine. And as you exhale, keep the awareness inside the body. Inhaling that breath and that attention down into the body towards the base of the spine. And as you exhale, keep the attention at the base of the spine. You take that breath right down into the base of the spine and breathe a few times into the root, the muladhara. And start to visualize Roots growing from the base of your spine into the earth. And these roots grow deep, deep down, down into the earth. With each breath you take in and each exhalation, the roots spread further and further into the earth, hundreds and hundreds of meters down, weaving through the bedrock, through the underground caverns, caves, insects, animals, intertwining with other roots and going deep into the core of the earth. And then zoom out, see yourself rooted, anchored, grounded into this present moment. Remind yourself that you are grounded, you are rooted, you are anchored. Breathe a few breaths into this connection with the earth, your root connected innately with the earth. And with each exhalation, start to move or push or allow any excess or stagnant energy to drain down your body into the roots and into the earth. For Mother Earth, takes our stagnant energy and uses it as compost. Each inhalation and each exhalation is moving that stagnant or excess energy, nervous energy, any energy that is ready to be released 
transmuted, allow it to move down into the roots and into the earth. Stay with the breath and stay with the visualization. Relax the shoulders, the face, the arms, keeping your gaze inward. Using the breath to move that stagnant energy down, down the roots into the earth. Grounding this excess stagnant energy. To know and trust that this technology lies within you. The body knows what to do. Simply works through the command of your consciousness. And then start to bring your awareness into your body, back up into this moment. And when you're ready, let go of that vision, of that visualization. And take your index finger and your middle finger of your dominant palm and place it in the middle of the forehead. Close the right nostril with the thumb or the ring finger. Inhale through the left nostril. Close the left, exhale through the right. Close the right, inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Continue at your own pace. Keeping your attention with the Agya Chakra, the third eye chakra. And the next exhalation, inhale through the right nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale through the left. Keeping your attention at the Agya, the third eye, the space behind your fingertips. You can take your inner attention there, or you can roll your eyes up into Sampadi Mudra. So rolling your eyes inwards and upwards to gaze at the third eye. Feel the belly rise and fall with the inhalation and exhalation. Balancing the left and right hemispheres of the brain, helping our brain to process. Balancing and activating the divine feminine and masculine aspects of the Kundalini Shakti, gently awakening the system. Stay with the breath. It's just you and the breath. And the next exhalation, keeping your eyes closed, bring your palm, the mudra, bring it back to your knee, take some natural breaths here. Keep 
bring your palms together at your solar plexus. Keep the index finger and the thumbs together and interlock the rest of the fingers. Cross the, th the right thumb over the left thumb or the other way round for men, left over right. Keeping the index finger pointed upwards. Let's just take a couple of breaths here into the solar plexus, into Akasha Mudra. Connecting us to the element of space whilst we ground into the lower triangle, into the solar plexus. Working on the quantum layers here to clear the solar plexus. Inhale for a count of three. Hold for a count of six. And exhale through the nose for a count of four. Inhale for three. Hold for six. Exhale for four. Continue at your own pace, keeping your eyes closed. Taking your attention either to your Manipura, the solar plexus, or to the Agya, the third eye. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, shift the breath, practice slightly. So inhale for three, hold for nine, exhale for six. Make sure on the inhalation, you're breathing in fully. And on the exhalation, you're exhaling and emptying all the air out of the lungs fully. Allow this practice to bring you a little bit deeper into the body, into the lower triangle, clearing out the stagnant energy, the stored energy of the Manipura, our day-to-day -day stress, worry, anxiety, what we accumulate just on a day-to-day basis. We want to clear this energy, giving more space and access to the lower chakras and to the upper chakras, allowing the Kundalini any energy to flow more freely. Stay with the breath, deeply present. Relaxing the shoulders here, relaxing the face. practice is helping to calm and soothe and regulate the nervous system. When we hold the breath, we show our part that we really, we've got it. That we're doing it. That we are in our element, in our power. We're stable. Regulated. Just a few more rounds, keeping your attention with the breath, fiercely present with the breath. A 
Doing the next exhalation, keeping your eyes closed, return to your natural breath. Return your palms to your knees. And just tune in to your system here. Notice your energy, notice any parts, and tend to yourself in this moment. Give yourself what you need in this moment. Moving on to the next practice, spinal breath. So we're going to bring our palms together, elbows bent at a 90 degrees. We're going to open the palms here as we inhale. We're going to flex the spine. We're going to open the palms, open the heart, lift the chin to the side. Inhale here through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And as we exhale, bring the palms closer together. Bring the chin to the chest and the elbows into the sacral, gathering the energy, curving the spine, bringing the forehead to the fist. Inhale, open. Exhale, coming into the sacral, forehead to the fist. Inhale. Exhale, coming in. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Opening and awakening. Whilst activating that lower triangle, grounding the lower triangle in. Working the Swadhisthana, the navel, the Manipura, the solar plexus. Bring your awareness into this dynamic practice, opening to the universe, opening to nature and contracting, coming back into the sacral, the root to the solar plexus. For there to be expansion, there must be contraction. For there to be creation, there must be destruction. One does not exist without the other. Just a few more rounds. Feeling the heart open. Feeling the energy coming into the sacral. One open contraction, coming back up, palms facing onto the knees, breathe naturally. Relax the shoulders, breathe, notice your energy. For the next practice, we're going to wake up to our true self. Lift the palms, bring the elbows down at the rib cage. Arms by the side, palms facing up. We're going to bring our fingertips together, activating all of the elements as we chant the mantra, Alak. Alak means wake up. And then we're going to, at the same time, we're going to engage the mula bandha, the root lock. So we're going to squeeze the anus and the genital muscles in and up, allowing that energy to naturally rise, activating the root and letting the energy naturally rise. So we, we chant alak, engage the root lock. And then we chant niranjan, Releasing the fingertips, opening the fingertips, and releasing the root lock. And again, alak, bringing the fingertips together, activating the root lock. Niranjan, opening the palms. 
Okay, so we're going to continue this at a slightly quicker pace. Inhale to begin. Alak Niranjan, 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 Alak Niranjan Alak, 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 Niranjan Alak. Niranjan Alak, 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 Niranjan Alak 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 Niranjan Release the root lock Drop the shoulders Breathe Open your palms Breathe Regulate your breath Wake up true self what aspects of your true self are you awakening? Are you enlivening in this moment? Name those aspects, breathe those aspects in. Whatever they may be, joy, connection, fearlessness, purpose. Name those aspects of your being that you are enlivening, awakening within yourself at this time. And bring your palms to your heart center and take a few deep breaths here. And return to your intention, your intention for your practice today. And then notice your part, notice what's going on internally. And spend a moment to give deep gratitude to this body, to all our parts, to our ancestors and the ancestors of this land, to the elements and the cardinal directions, to the animal and plant spirits, to the nature beings, to all our guides, teachers, masters, to all those that walked before us and continue to guide and protect us. And keeping your eyes closed, return your palms to your knees. Breathe naturally. We start to create some circles with our torso so moving in one direction and again twisting from the spine so as we inhale the chin comes up and the chest opens a little bit and we feel that curve or flex in the spine and as we exhale the chin is coming towards the chest the lower back going towards the mat Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, keeping the breath active.
spending this time to really create these energetic and emotional foundations. This is how we resource ourselves, working on the lower triangle to ground ourselves in before we activate the heart, throat, third eye or crown. So, so important to root and anchor in and to create the stability within. Change directions. And we're going to prepare to meet with the consciousness of Saturn. And Saturn is the inner teacher teaching us to learn from our challenges and become the teacher that we've always searched for, we've always longed for. And then Saturn is shifting into a new home, into Aquarius, one of its homes. This opportunity to connect in and to create our intentions to be authentic and present in our healing journey, in our journey of consciousness expansion, and to draw in the support of Saturn. Making smaller and smaller and smaller circles as you come back to center. Coming back to stillness. Taking a few breaths. Just noticing anything arising within your consciousness, within your body. Spend this moment to tend to that. And to create an intention now. Creating an intention to face your challenges. And to learn from your challenges. in your own words, create an intention or allow, even better, allow an intention to naturally form. Around intending to learn from your challenges, to become the guru within. And just feel into the space, feel into what is there. Maybe there's a sense that, can I be my own teacher? Am I a teacher? Maybe there are some doubts or fears coming up. Maybe there's a knowing, a knowing somewhere in there that this feels relevant for you right now time to learn that you are the teacher. It's time to take the lessons from the challenges and integrate those. Whatever is arising from you, just spend some time to be with it, really be with it. Breathe and sit with whatever is arising. Let your part see you sitting with discomfort, sitting with pain, sitting with whatever is arising. And let yourself bathe and bask in the glory of your own energy yourself.
give gratitude to whatever is arising. And give space, just a little bit more space before we move on to the next practice. To hear, to see, to feel what is there, what it is you need to see to understand so that you can face your challenges that you can take yourself into this next level of healing, of consciousness evolution. And bring yourself back to center as you connect your consciousness to the consciousness of Saturn. Maybe you visualize Saturn with its rings around it, or maybe you just connect your energy to that and you just it's just a knowing and let that know that you're ready to work with its energy that you're willing to work with its energy to take you inwards and to support you to learn from your challenges I'm going to inhale here as we gently flex the spine. We're going to bring our chin all the way up. And we're going to focus at the third eye, inhaling through the nose. Hold the breath here. Focus at the third eye and chant three times. Shani. 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 Meaning Saturn. Exhale through the nose, bringing your chin all the way down to your chest, opening your eyes a fraction, one in tenth of a fraction, gazing at your nose, hold the breath here, and again chant shani, shani, shani. Inhale, lifting the chin up. Flex the spine, close the eyes, roll the eyes into Sampadi Mudra, gazing at the third eye, hold the breath. Shani, Shani, Shani. Chanting internally, silently. Exhale through the nose. bringing a small fraction of a gaze to the tip of the nose. Hold the breath, silently chanting, Shani, Shani, Shani. Move at your own pace. Inhaling fully, exhaling fully. No deep, long breath. Focusing intently at the Agya, the third eye. Slow the breath down, go deeper and deeper. Slow the breath right down.
go deeper and deeper and deeper. So the breath, slow the chanting right down, spending longer in your retention. Stay present, going deeper and deeper into this practice with Shani. Just a few more rounds. During the next exhalation, keeping your eyes closed, come back to center, relax the shoulders, breathe, breathe naturally. Expanded. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your palms together at the Manipura, the solar plexus, and again, placing the Minakasha Mudra, keeping the index fingers up, the thumbs crossed and interlocking the rest of the fingers, 
And again, inhale for a count of three. Hold for a count of nine. Exhale for a count of six. Continue at your own pace. Inhaling the consciousness, the connection to Shani. Inhaling the prana into our Manipura solar plexus, empowering our willpower and our staying power. Let's fuel ourselves for this journey ahead as we dive deeper into ourselves, into our inner world, as we learn to face our challenges with deeper sincerity and authenticity, honesty. Draw that energy into the solar plexus. Hold it there, retain the energy, let it move into the system. And then exhale, pushing that energy deeper into the body, letting that energy distribute. Deep, strong breaths, drawing in that connection with Shani, with Saturn. Drawing in the abundance of love and support, of strength to support us in our journey of self-mastery. Stay present with this breath practice. Draw the energy in. Stay present with the breath. Maintaining that connection with Shani through the quantum realms. Drawing his energy into our solar plexus, into the Manipura, charging up our commitment, our staying power. This energy is going to see us through the dark nights and days, through the journey inward, through the challenge and the strife, the discomfort, the resistance. Draw that energy in, hold it, charge the solar plexus. And practice with confidence, with the knowing that you are doing it. You are doing self-mastery. You are self-mastery. You are confident and clear, courageous, and calm, compassionate. You are ready. Tell yourself in this moment, I am here, I'm doing it, I'm ready. Create an affirmation in this moment that projects you in the future. In your future vision of your future self. Just a few more rounds of this breath practice. From the next exhalation, keeping your eyes closed, return to your natural breath 
and place your palms on your knees. Breathe into your entire being and just notice how you feel. Notice the expansion in your body. Notice your parts. Notice the quality of your energy. Bringing your left hand to your heart center, placing the palm on the heart and placing your right palm above. And as you inhale, open the palm and offer your palm out in front of you, swooping your palm in front of you around to the right, around the back of the head, over the top of the head. And as you exhale, Bring the palm over your face and back to the heart. And then again, with the left palm, open the palm, swooping it round to the left, following it with your gaze, but keeping your eyes closed, bringing the palm round the back of the head as you exhale over the top, over the front of the face, and then back to the heart center. Continue at your own pace. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. As you offer your anahata, your heart's energy out to the world. As you offer it to yourself, swooping through your aura. Sharing your love. Let's slow down this practice and embody it embody it as an act of devotion to yourself as self-love self-appreciation self-honor no matter what your parts say or how you feel Always remember this heart energy, this anahata energy is always present. It is always pumping. The biofield is the most powerful energy system in our body. Always here, waiting for us to remember. Nourish yourself, bathe yourself with your own light. Practicing one more on each side. And slowly bringing our palms one on top of the other at a heart center. Breathe into the anahata heart space. This moment, give gratitude, deep, deep gratitude to yourself, to your body, to your part. Send yourself appreciation. Honor yourself. 
remind yourself that just by holding an intention for your own evolution, for your own healing, is most of the work done. There's not more left to do except for to just be and to continue on your journey. Place your palms together and deep gratitude for Pachamama, the guides, animal, plant spirits, deities, angels, teachers, masters, gurus, the elements, the nature beings, the cardinal directions, the ancestors, all our parts, all the beings that guide and protect us. Together, we're going to seal this practice with a final invocation of Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat, meaning peace, 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 all is one, and that is the truth. Inhale to begin. Shanti 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 free to bring your forehead to the earth to ground your third eye namaste